Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. If you're a cyber angel, thank you very much for sharing and liking. Uh, you've blown my mind because on the romance reading, we ha uh, I the video had something like 276 views and likes, or no likes, but more views, obviously. Thank you very much. So you're number one, and I'm only going to do the first three. And the second one was Pisces, and the third one was the Gems. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Wow, it's really blown my mind. The romance readings were really liked last month. Well, this is your romance reading for August 2020, and I hope you will just enjoy it as much as ever. And welcome to the new people that have landed on the channel. Uh, if you would like to become a cyber angel, then please join us in the life, and then you'll be uh, initiated and, and join the family. Join the cyber family. It is absolutely fantastic, the live sessions. We also do healing sessions, and we also do interactions. It has come out in some of the lives that people like the interactions with each other and with me and we do have discussions about anything there will be a new series in the autumn most probably late September mid-September with Wendy the Witch okay there's beautiful great new exciting things going to happen uh, I'm in for well, I'm a typical Gemini, and I, I'm in to gather all kinds of information, and it is beautiful. I, the series was a success, and we're going to continue, because we do like working with each other as well. But now we're going to start with the romance reading, and um, let's get started. And welcome to the new people. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all. Then you'll be notified when I go live. As I go live three times a week. Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And of course, um, uh, I also answer questions that are supported by donations, super chat or super sticker. Now I've got four uh, cards of the romance uh, deck. And that is one for each week. That is, um, they will be clarified by a, a Lenormand and a, a Tarot card. And then we've got Archangel Michael and an answer of the angels. So Capricorn, I hope you in, will enjoy this way um, of the spread. And reading, romantic feelings in the first week. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. The cards that will uh, clarify this is the Four of Swords. Yes, it is worthwhile exploring whether your romantic feelings are stirred up and how are you going to continue with this? Are you going the next, going on to the next step? Are you going to go out a little bit more often with each other and build the relationship up? Well, it looks like that you are going to contemplate about this or meditate and evaluate the, the situation. It looks like <laughs> this skeleton is at the beach <laughs> and the swords are the poles. <laughs> I th love these drawings and I love this this author uh, way of thinking. So relax on the beach, go and contemplate on the beach, go and meditate on the beach, but don't get sunburned. Take care of your skin. You want to stay beautiful and attractive Okay, so um, I think your feelings are real and they are worth thinking about on how to continue. That is if you are not hooked up and if, you're, if you are hooked up, yes, your feelings are real for this person, otherwise you wouldn't be with this person. And you might be uh, going out together or you might be engaged because you could be hooked up and you might want to go a step further by living, moving in together or getting married. So think about what you want and how you're going to do it. I think there will be um, gatherings and meetings and celebrations because we've got the garden and the garden means presentations, meetings in general, but this could also be the barbecue or a beach party, right? 
How do I get the beach? Well, because of this card, it might be a beach party. Or you might be partying in uh, a park or in your own garden and celebrating that you're getting engaged or married, that you have decided to get married. Mind you, the garden does mean there might be a reunion. This could be not only with family, but somebody obviously from the past. Because uh, perhaps you uh, are separated for some reason or other, not real separation. If you uh, were going out with somebody, they might be going on holiday, and uh, or you might be going on holiday, and you're thinking on the holiday, I really miss my partner. I want more. I want to take it, be serious. I want to take it up to the next step because my feelings are real and I know their feelings are real. So there will be a reunion and the past could be yesterday. So when if you are getting back this uh, in the first week of August, then you might pick up that phone really damn quick and say, come on darling, come over, let's go out and eat. I miss you and I want to get together, have a reunion celebrate a reunion that is as simple as it and that's how simple it can be now in the second week we have flirt flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others well yes uh, let your inner child come out definitely have fun and especially towards your partner extend your light-heartedness your inner child be playful that will bring you together talk a little bit more when you go out don't just go out to uh, parties um, because that is usually with within a crowd and then you can't spend so much time just flirting with each other okay let's have a look what the clarification card is uh, I like flirting with my partner because then you know they can be on the other side of the room at a party and just now and again just throw your eyes up and smile or give a wink or just give a nod and they know that you're thinking of them that is how you can show that you that you have got them on your mind and victory is yours because you've got the chariot you've got public recognition Ooh, you've got you've got recognition from your other half or a potential partner you've got number seven and that means good luck you are onward uh, onwards and upwards I think you are getting closer and closer or oh, and if you are hooked up you do make them feel special because they are recognizing your flirtatious um, attitude towards them this could be a cancer because the chariot stands for a cancer so if you're going out with a cancer they do like flirts they do like the love and the attention and the passion they really will be feeling flattered ah, doesn't anybody like attention Wow and you might be going on holiday with your partner with your flirt okay because the chariot is also a vehicle of travel and so or you might be moving in because the chariot means moving home and um, going on a trip now we've got the heart they are your heart's desire the heart means passion love and 24 becomes 6 so this is a stable love okay this is a stable love okay that is you might find out that this is a really um, uh, a love situation a love relationship that could be here for a long long time it's going well you've got victory that sounds good Capricorn now in the third week keep an open mind if you haven't met anybody or if you're not so um, hooked up then keep an open mind because that could be somebody coming in your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations now that is in the third week but 
I think you might be flirting with somebody in the second week if you're not hooked up and it could be a counter okay so if you are just starting to go out or if you have recognized somebody that you like and you're flirting you will get recognition but it might not be your usual type so keep an open mind it's always good to keep an open mind and if you are hooked up then you know whether your partner is the you uh, um, the usual person that you would go out with uh, before you met them um, and so they are surprising um, and they might even surprise you now uh, and that is very refreshing in a relationship when something unexpected happens they might all of a sudden come with a, uh, a new idea or a new vision and surprise you and that is exciting in a relationship now the card that we've got again cancer cancer is definitely on the books okay this is the king of cups the king of cups represents cancer but him um, don't exclude scorpio or pisces wow they are very sensitive people also sensual and sexual uh, especially scorpio is known for its sexual appetite <laughs> and and passion well, they are close to um, Sagittarius, aren't they? So that is, um, it could be somebody that is um, a, uh, a Sagittarius Scorpio rising or a Scorpio Sagittarius rising or Cancer and Scorpio uh, a rising or Moon. And that will have the influence. They do listen to their intuition and their heart and they are very um, sensitive uh, and their heart does break easy but they could also be very spiritual they could be into meditation and contemplation big time talk about it when you talk to each other you communicate and this is how the bond strengthens now you've got the lily and the lily means that you might seek advice from a king of cups it could be a mature man it might not be the man that you are having a relation with or um, if you are a man it doesn't have to be a lady that you're having a relationship with because the card these cards um, are not only for romance I feel because I also use them uh, in for general interpretations like keep an open mind you have to keep an open mind it doesn't matter in what kind of a relationship uh, if you have a, f a friend um, uh, your best friend um, you might empty your heart to them and you have to keep an open mind that they see things differently if you're madly in love and they don't agree with your choice of love well just tell them keep an open mind and that is how you can use these cards um, also as general for the general meaning okay so this guy that you could be meeting might have a very open mind or yes and it could be a mature person and he might give you advice or it, if you want advice about your relationship you might just meet a mature man or go to a mature man like a father figure to seek advice with regards to this man that you're going out with most probably a cancer wow remember the lily also means good luck and we all need a bit of luck from time to time but usually you can make your own luck especially if you flirt and keep an open mind and let your romantic feelings be known to the other who is concerned there is a new love according to this card coming in so this could be a new love if you're not hooked up or if you've just broken up I'm sorry to hear that time will heal but let go of the past if you are just have if you've just broken up and work it through work it through with somebody mature that can help you the advisor this could be a father figure or a professional person 
new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And for those that are hooked up, I don't think that uh, you will just chop and change your partner like that. I think you're quite steady because you are also an earth sign Capricorn. And remember, the grass always looks greener on the other side. That is what I'm getting as a message. Don't always wander off to something new if you've already got a partner. Try to work it out because the passion is there and you've got the Ace of Wands. So ignite that passion. Start anew. Be spontaneous. Take action. Be creative in waking up the, f um, the flame. The flame of passion. The flame of love talk about it with each other there could be a new beginning but remember if you are going out with a fire sign know their boundaries and know what tweaks them so that you can keep this exciting refreshing side of the relationship going and passion doesn't last know also your boundaries and let them know what your boundaries are okay because I know plenty of fire signs that have been married for yonks years and years and actually hmm, the fire signs are one of the most difficult people to get rid of <laughs> because they believe they're your, you are theirs whilst nobody belongs to anybody we belong to ourselves but we can belong with somebody that's two different things nobody can own anybody that's the devil card walk away from things like that and we've got the cross. We've got the cross um, explaining this new love. You might be up in your head about it, okay? You might be stuck in your head. You might be depressed, right? You might be depressed. Why? Because you might be scared of this new love. And if you are in a relationship, you might be scared that whatever exciting action you might take uh, it won't be appreciated well if you don't try you haven't succeeded you failed so try and then you haven't failed do you understand the saying if you don't try you've already failed you've got nothing to lose sorry about that be creative and be passionate but don't get burnt out know your boundaries and know their boundaries then you can compromise and keep the balance and the excitement in your relationship now the overall energy from the Lenaman is the book so that means that you might not know something you might not have enough information on how to maintain your relationship or how to get the attention you've got the recognition but how to make this recognition coming in uh, st um, steady and uh, make it into a relationship that is if you haven't got a relationship now um, keep an open mind you have the book also means you need to do more research or learn how to uh, keep the relationship going and you can only keep the relationship going or you can only get a relationship by communication talk to each other ask each other out if you're not hooked up then ask the person that you fancy or that you're passionate about out and learn what they like learn what their interests are that is how you can grow your friendship or your bond and if you are hooked up and um, there is a bit of a period that seems to be dull and mundane and you want the passion back then talk to each other go out and if you can't go out because of s some countries returning to lockdown then do something at home have dinner on the balcony if you haven't got a garden have dinner in in the dining room instead of the kitchen make something romantic and exciting and the passion will return so long you make the effort and keep the communication going now we've got a healing card because it's green from Archangel Michael 
self energy sever energetic cords well what does that mean save your energy for the right moment of love and passion and if it is negative then walk away you don't sever the energetic cords so if the um if if something doesn't feel right in the relationship then it's better to walk away than agitate each other and start an argument try to come back later and talk gently and find out again what the issue is and how you can make things work have faith okay come out of your head you are at the crossroads on what are you going to do do you want this a passionate uh, a passionate relationship or do you want a long-term relationship have faith that you will and get to the next level and you will uh, have the excitement and the passion back it, you might have to make a choice but you have to come into action in order to make it work have faith in yourself have faith in the other trust yourself and trust the other that is also what is love also respect each other's boundaries respect each other in many ways otherwise the cords will be severed okay so preserve your energy and sever energetic cords with those that might not agree with you um, think what you have to sever okay Archangel Deli Michael delivers powerful healing to sever energetic cords of attachment and rebalance your energy fields. There might be somebody in and around you, around you that could be jealous of you that you are spending so, so much time with your partner and that you you both uh, have faith and trust in each other. The, be careful of influences outside your relationship don't let anybody spoil look these three people don't let anybody spoil your relationship the answer of the angels is listen to your intuition and never doubt your intuition okay so that is your romance reading for August the uh, 2020 take action if you are hooked up make sure you uh, find something uh, new and refreshing I know it's di uh, it's easy to say but be inventive okay and ask somebody for help even if it has to be professional if you're not hooked up then uh, you are learning if you are a young person from 18 and upwards because uh, these videos are not made for children and I know 16 year uh, 16 year olds aren't children but um, they think they're grown up but they're still grown up in children's bodies you are developing you're not all there so learn uh, from others okay ask uh, help from parents or uh, an uncle or somebody that's mature and you respect perhaps your grandmother or your grandfather so that you can grow into a steady relationship perhaps with this king of cups okay they're very sensitive you must uh, learn to respect each other and communicate with each other don't just think that love is uh, you know don't think love is easy no if you want a proper partnership it is a job it's a real job to make a relationship work we all know that even with our mates right whether you're a man or a woman we have our friends best friends and it takes hard work to maintain a friendship that is also an other form of relationship yeah so just learn be open to discuss have an open mind learn from each other 
um, what each other likes. You do that in romantic relationships and in normal friendships. So, take action, have faith, come out of your head and communicate. Boom. Listen to your intuition and also the ideas, that new ideas that come into your head. That could also be um, a suggestion from your subconscious or the divine or the angels telling you why don't you go out to the woods together alone take quality time okay or go to the beach if you're allowed on the beach just be creative and bring in this new action and that will brighten up the flame again I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care and I'll see you next time round, if not in the life. Please like and share. Thank you.